Hi guys, for your essay, you're gonna do a modified version of the stop dare strategy. So you're gonna do this stop strategy on paper pencil, it's the thing that says notes, and I will give it to you after you're done with your quiz. Um, so you're gonna choose a question, and then you're gonna, or a couple of questions that you wanna brainstorm. Okay, so you've got two or three questions, you're gonna brainstorm both of them. That's where you suspend your judgment, you stop, you think about which one do I have the best answers for. Okay, then take a side. For this, you're just gonna take a question. Choose which question you actually wanna answer. Uh, then you're gonna organize your ideas. Remember, you number your best examples and reasons. One, two, and three. Three is your absolute best reason you've got on that page. Two is a little bit not quite as good. One is not quite as good as that one. But your three best ones that you're gonna use in your essay. And then finally, you can plan more as you write. That is on paper, pencil, okay? I want you to do your notes, outlining, brainstorming on paper pencil then you are going to get back onto here on Google Classroom and you're going to do the dare portion which is a sheet where you're going to develop your claim you're going to add additional details and evidence you need at least three of those three okay and then you're going to now the R is reject the opposing the opposition in this a lot of the essays won't have an opposite side okay there's not an opposite side to what does that quote mean okay so you may skip that one if you don't have one. Now, if you say is, question number one, if you're answering that one, is it a sport? You could do refute or reject the opposite side and say, well, some people say yes it is, or some people say no it's not. However, this is why they're wrong, okay? And then finally, you're gonna add an ending or your claim. Once you've outlined all of that in the dare strategy, you're gonna go in and actually write the essay below. So you're gonna use that as a guide to write your essay. Remember to capitalize the beginning of sentences, punctuation at the end, and make sure you indent your paragraphs. That's all you gotta do.